Hello students in this new series we are going to start applications of definite integral today we will start with first application which is to find length of curve using definite integrals let us see we are given a curve y is equals to fx hum ek curve de rakhi hai graphically let's say the curve is represented something like this this is the given curve y is equals to fx and we wish to calculate the length of this curve between two desired points x is equals to a and x is equals to b that is i want to measure the length of this curve see the points can be like it can be a part of curve or it can be the full curve that depends on the situation question mein hum kisi bhi tarah se pooch sakte hain wo हमें कोई दो पॉइंट्स गिवन भी हो सकते हैं कि सिर्फ इसी पार्ट की हमने लेंथ कैलकुलेट करनी है जिसे हम आर्क भी बोल देते हैं अगर हम कर्व के किसी पार्ट को लेते हैं इफ वी कंसीडरिंग अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट कर्व देन वी से इट लाइक एज आर्क ऑफ दैट कर्व आर्क ए आर सी एंड इट कैन बी ऑल्सो लाइक वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट द फुल लेंथ ऑफ दैट कर्व जो गिवन पॉइंट्स हैं जिनके बीच में हमने जो लेंथ है उसको कैलकुलेट करना है That's given by the length of curve is calculated as l is equals to integration of the function one plus dy by dx whole square under the square root dx between the desired limits x is equals to a to b. This is the formula to calculate length of this curve between the points x is equals to a and x is equals to b. जो भी हमें curve दे रखी है के ऊपर हम ये वाला फॉर्मूला अप्लाई कर देंगे एंड वी कैन हैव द डिजायर्ड रिजल्ट बेस्ड ऑन द टाइप ऑफ इक्वेशन गिवन टू अस वी हैव वेरियस फॉर्म्स टू कैलकुलेट द लेंथ ऑफ कर्व अलग अलग टाइप के इक्वेशंस के लिए हमारे पास अलग अलग फॉर्मूलाज हैं फॉर एग्जांपल दिस फॉर्म इज नोन एज कार्टीजियन फॉर्म दिस फॉर्म इज नोन एज कार्टीजियन फॉर्म ये कार्टीजियन फॉर्म है हमारे पास द वन इन विच equation between x and y is given and y is defined in terms of x for example equation can be like y is equals to x square plus 2 is tarah se the second form is the second form is in which the equation of x is given in terms of y then the length of curve is given by integral 1 plus dx upon dy square डी वाई बिटवीन द लिमिट्स वाई इज इक्वल्स टू ए एंड वाई इज इक्वल्स टू बी जैसे कि अब हमने जो इक्वेशन दे रखी है लेट्स इन्वर्टेड फॉर्म में अब कुछ इस तरह से एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वाई स्क्र माइनस टू अगर हमें इस टाइप से इक्वेशन दे रखी है देन वी कैन यूज दिस सेकेंड टाइप थर्ड इफ द इक्वेशन इज गिवन इन पैरामीट्रिक फॉर्म अगर अब हमें इक्वेशन किस तरह से दे रखी है पैरामीट्रिक फॉर्म में एंड इट्स डिफाइंड लाइक x is equals to f of t, y is equals to g of t. Then the length of curve is calculated by using the formula integral dx by dt square plus dy by dt square under the square root between the limits a to b. Similarly, if the equation is given in polar form, r is equals to f of theta, then the length of curve is given by integral alpha to beta r square plus dr by d theta whole square under the square root. and if the equation is given in inverted form that is it's expressed in terms of r theta is equals to f of r then the length of curve is given by integral a to b 1 plus r d theta by dr whole square under the square root dr this is the equation if the this is the formula if the equation is given in polar form so we have these five formulas which can be used As per the equation given in our problem, अगर हमें parametric form दे रखी है then we will use the formula which is integral a to b dx by dt square plus dy by dt square under the square root dt. If the equation is in Cartesian form, then we can apply the formula number वन or the formula number टू Again, depending whether the equation is expressed in terms of x or the equation is expressed in terms of y. So let's start with the first problem now. first problem is we have to find the length of find length of cycloid x is equals to a t plus sin t 
y is equals to a one plus cos t. We need to find the length of the curve which is given to us. X is equals to a t plus sine t. Y is equals to a one plus cos t. Let's start with the solution. Given equations are. Let's write the equations first. As we can see, these equations are in parametric form. So the length of curve will be calculated by using the formula t is equals to a to b dx by dt whole square plus dy by dt whole square under the square root dt. Now we need to calculate dx by dt, dy by dt, and the limits of t for the cycloid. If we draw the cycloid is represented like this here t is equals to minus pi it's 0 and it's pi and we are going to calculate this part. So the length of curve is given by minus pi 2 pi dx by dt square plus dy by dt square under the square root dt or we can also calculate it like double of integral 0 to pi dx by dt square plus dy by dt square square root since the curve is symmetric if you see the curve is symmetric then Either we can integrate from minus pi to pi or we can simply integrate from the region 0 to pi and we can double it. Ya to pura integrate kar lijiye chahe minus pi se lekar pi tak aur ya phir hum kis tarah se lik sakte hain? Hum itne portion ka calculate karenge aur usko hum kya kar denge? 2 se multiply kar denge, double kar denge. Now let's calculate dx by dt and dy by dt from equation number 1 and from equation number 2. From equation number 1, what will be dx by dt? dx by dt is a derivative of t1 and derivative of sin t is cos t. Similarly, what will be dy by dt? It's a derivative 1 is 0 and derivative of cos is minus sin t. Let's put the values in our formula. I am going to use the second form to integral 0 to pi dx by dt is a 1 plus cos t whole square plus a minus sin t whole square square root dt. You can also first simplify the calculation part then you can integrate that in the end part or you can start directly with the formula for L. Now solve this first, dx by dt square, dy by dt square. Now simplify it first and then put the formula in. Or you can start the formula directly. That totally depends on you. 0 to pi. Now if I open the square, what I will get here? a square. Then 1 plus cos square t plus 2 cos t. And from here again I will get a square. So I am going to take outside and sin t will be after squaring sin square t under the square root dt. Now I will take this a square outside the square root. So I will get here 2a and here cos square t plus sin square t is 1. So what I get here 2a integral 0 to pi inside I get 1 plus 2 cos t plus 1 dt. It's 2a integral 0 to pi. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 2 cos t dt. 2a 0 to pi. Again we can take 2 common. So it's 1 plus cos t inside this square root dt. Now what is 1 plus cos t? The formula trigonometry. 1 plus cos t is 2 cos square t by 2 inside this square root dt. Now this is equals to 2a integral 0 to pi. Now this is 
2 into 2 4 again if I take it from square root I will get simply 2 here and this is cos square t by 2 inside this square root so I get only cos of t by 2 dt outside I have 4 a 0 to pi integral of cos t by 2 dt and what is integration of cos integration of cos is sin t by 2 upon 1 by 2 0 to pi this 1 by 2 gives me 8 a sin of t by 2 0 to pi now let's put the limits upper limit minus lower limit that is sin 90 1 sin 0 is 0 so my answer is 80 it means the length of cycloid is equals to 8 a so this is how we calculate the length of a given curve using the concept of definite integrals now let's quickly have a look at one more example so now we need to find the length of arc of parabola see now they are using the word arc it means here we are not going to calculate the length of the whole curve but we are going to calculate length of some part of the parabola y is equals to x square by 4a measured from the vertex to one end of latus rectum abhi hume kya calculate karna hai ek parabola de rakha hai x square is equal x square upon 4a and hame uski total length nahi calculate karni hai we have to just calculate between the given points points kya hai vertex se start karna aur kahan tak latus rectum tak before starting the problem let's first discuss what the parabola is and what are the points given here in which we need to calculate the length of r y is equals to x square upon 4a this is the equation of a upward parabola ye hamare paas kaun sa parabola hai upward parabola and this looks like y is equals to x square upon 4a this is the vertex 0 0 here we have the point 0 comma a the focus of the parabola and the line perpendicular line passing through the focus exactly through the focus jo perpendicular line hoki means yaha pe kitna angle ban raha hai 90 degree kyunki otherwise agar hum baat kare if this is the parabola this is your focus this is the this line is also passing through focus this line is also pa passing through focus no we are considering that line which makes an angle of 90 degree then this line is known as latus rectum. This line ko hum kya bolte hain? Latus rectum. Then the end points of latus rectum are given by end points kya hote Minus 2a to a and 2a to a. These are the end points of latus rectum. And friends, if you want to explore more about these metrical terms which we are using here, you can let me know. We can have separate video for that. Like in the previous example, we discussed about cycloid now in this example we are discussing about parabola and there are other 7 to 8 different types of symmetrical shapes which we will discuss here so if you want more information about them you can let me know we can cover them in a separate video in which we will only discuss about their properties like cycloid cardioid asteroid parabola ellipse the number of terms so we can cover them in a separate video for now let's focus on our example so the given parabola is x square is equals to 4ay which is upward parabola now look at this equation this equation is of which form this form is known as cartesian form here you can use in cartesian form you can use the first formula or the second formula if you recall these were the two formulas depending on if you are easily able to calculate the value of y from the given equation or you are able to calculate x well, if you have easily y ki value mil rahi hai, to first formula use karenge, so that we can calculate dy by dx if you have x ki value mil rahi hai easily to hum kya calculate kar sakte hai, dx by dy so we will go for second formula now looking back to our example we can see from here if i start calculating the value of x i will be having x is equals to if i x ki value calculate karu to ye is tarah se ban jayega and the square root is giving me a going to give me a little bit tough time so to avoid that i will calculate the value of y from here which is x square upon 4a 
calculating dy by dx derivative of x square is 2x simplify i get x is equals to 2a now length of arc from vertex to one end of latest sector means they are asking either from the vertex start from the vertex here you have to find the length up to l dash or you have to find the length up to l that's your choice because ultimately you are going to have same answer since the curve is symmetric curve symmetric hai aap chahe v se l dash tak length calculate kar lo chahe ya v se l tak calculate kar lo so look at the limits now here the starting point is 0 and the final point is 2a so my formula is l is equals to integral 1 plus dy by dx whole square under the square root limits from 0 to 2a put the value of dy by dx here which is x by 2a now from here the next part is only the calculation part that how to solve this integral by this way or by that way so i'm going to take the lcm now 2a square plus x square upon 2a square inside this square root now this 2a square is inside this square root if i am going to take it outside this square will be vanished so i simply get 1 upon 2a square root of 2a square plus x square dx now we have a well known formula of integral square root of a square plus x square it's given by x by 2 square root of a square plus x square plus a square by 2 log of x plus a square plus x square ye hame integration ka formula hai jo hame yaad rakhna hai hum yahan pe apply karenge apply karenge aur yahan pe a ki bajaye hamare paas question mein kya chal raha hai we are having here 2a so everywhere wherever there is a in the formula we have to replace that by 2a jahan jahan par a hai ye to hamara formula hai na hum a ki jagah pe kya likh denge 2a so substituting this formula here i got this value now the integration is done we have to just apply the formula the next part is to solve the limits now it's between 0 to 2a upper limit minus lower limit wherever there is x put the upper limit 2a minus lower limit 0 jahan jahan par x hai wahan pe 2a ki value rakh denge hum aur jahan par minus dal ke x hai wahan pe lower limit kya put kar denge hum 0 so i just substituted the value here is equation mein sirf values put hui hain upper limit माइनस लोअर लिमिट आफ्टर दैट वी विल जस्ट सिंप्लीफाई द इक्वेशन एंड वी विल गेट द डिजायर्ड रिजल्ट इसके बाद सिर्फ ये सिंप्लीफिकेशन है यू कैन सॉल्व इट एंड यू कैन हैव योर आंसर लाइक वन फॉर्मूला विच यू आर गोइंग टू यूज हियर इज वंस यू आर गोइंग टू सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यूज यू विल सिंप्लीफाई यू विल अराइव हियर नाउ फ्रॉम दीज टू टर्म्स यू कैन टेक टू ए स्केयर कॉमन so what you will get here log 2a plus 2 root 2a minus log of 2a then you need to apply this formula log m minus n which is log of m upon n so i applied that formula here again you can see i can take 2a common so i took 2a outside it will get cancel with this 2a i get log of 1 plus root 2 then again doing the simplification you will get the desired answer So this was all about length of curve. You can give a try to these questions. This is your practice set for the topic length of curve. And let me know if you find any difficulty in any problem. Then we can discuss that in our next video. Thank you.